सो हेलो हाई एंड गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू अन अदर क्लास ऑफ पी आई बी टू फोर सेवन इन टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द पी आई बी न्यूज फ्रॉम थर्ड टू फिफ्थ ऑफ मार्च टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री इन येस्टरडे द सेशन वॉज नॉट देयर बिकॉज ऑफ ऑब्वियस रीजन होली था कल तो दैट वॉज दैट्स वाई द सेशन वॉज नॉट कंडक्टेड एंड टूडे इज आर बी आई टू फोर सेवन जनरली आर बी आई टू फोर सेवन happens on tuesday thursday and saturday so today's class will take place on saturday on its usual time theek hai to kyunki kal pib ki class nahi hoti that's why today i am taking the class and karnima ma'am will take her class on saturday theek hai on the scheduled time uske baad schedule jaisa hai wo waisa hi rahega right so let's begin with the class today but before we begin guys let me tell you one thing in this period of 3rd to 5th march theek hai government ka dimag kharab ho gaya tha aur unhone bahut sari releases kar di thi aur bahut sari important important news thi between this period of 3rd to 5th march so in order to make session not too bulky i have taken half of the news that were released on 3rd to 5th march right rest of the news i will be taking up in the upcoming classes so you don't worry you will not miss anything you don't worry at all jab tak main hu aapko pib ki chinta karne ki zarurat bilkul bhi nahi hai so let's talk about the question number 1 ministry of jal shakti headed by gajendra singh shekhawat has conferred 36 women wash champions with the swach sujal shakti samman 2023 for their exceptional and exemplary work being done at the grassroots level in the implementation of which of the following initiatives right so wash stands for what wash stands for uh water sanitation and hygiene right water sanitation and hygiene is the full form of wash right so let's come to the let's discuss the news and then we will come back to the question so it is the ministry of jal shakti which has conferred the swach sujal shakti samman to 36 women wash champions now do remember the full form of wash that's very important right and this these awards have been given in the run up to the international women's day which was observed yesterday uh, 8th of march right now this samman these these awards have been conferred to these women for their exceptional and exemplary work in the area of three initiatives for three initiatives in short which are swachh bharat mission gramin jal jeevan mission and jal shakti abhiyan cash the rain campaign so these are the three initiatives which are being implemented by ministry of jal shakti so for the implementation of these three initiatives for effective implementation of these three implementation uh, these three initiatives Uh, these women have been awarded with swach sujal shakti samman for the year 2023 okay talking more about it so swach sujal shakti samman 2023 the objective is to bring is to bring the women achievers from the grassroots to the front forefront and connect them with the national level implementation agencies right and take some aspirations from them jo mahilaen hain jo grassroots level pe kaam kar rahi hain उनको कनेक्ट किया जाएगा टू द नेशनल लेवल बॉडीज सो दैट दो नेशनल लेवल बॉडीज एंड इंप्लीमेंटर्स कैन आल्सो हैव सम एस्पिरेशन फ्रॉम देम ठीक है इंस्पिरेशन फ्रॉम देम टोटल 36 सिक्स वुमेन चैंपियंस ऑफ रूरल वाटर एंड सैनिटेशन वर कंफर्ड इन द फॉलोइंग कैटेगरीज नंबर वन स्वच्छ भारत मिशन ग्रामीण एंड विद इन स्वच्छ भारत मिशन ग्रामीण वाई दीज वुमेन हैव बीन अवॉर्डेड बिकॉज ऑफ इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ दीज इनिशियटिव दीज आर मेकिंग द विलेज ओडीएफ प्लस गोवर्धन बायोडिग्रेडेबल वेस्ट एंड प्लास्टिक वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट ग्रे वॉटर मैनेजमेंट एंड फीकल स्लज मैनेजमेंट ऑल राइट सो दिस इज अबाउट स्वच्छ भारत मिशन ग्रामीण देन फॉर जल जीवन मिशन राइट अंडर जल जीवन मिशन दीज वुमेन वॉज अवॉर्डेड वुमेन चेंज मेकर्स इन द कैटेगरी ऑफ ओ एन एम ऑफ फाइव वॉटर सप्लाई राइट एंड अंडर नेशनल वॉटर मिशन विच इज जल शक्ति अभियान कैश दर इन कैंपेन टू इनिशियटिव आर देयर one is itself jal shakti abhiyan cash the rain and one is water warriors so for all these initiatives these 36 women have been awarded the samman for the year 2023 all right now remember during the event jal shakti abhiyan cash the rain campaign for the year 2023 was also launched right it was launched with the theme source sustainability for drinking water source sustainability sustainability for drinking water was the theme for this year's cash the rain campaign or jal shakti abhiyan remember it is the fourth in the series of jal shakti abhiyan and these are the areas of focus of this year's campaign which are water conservation and rain water harvesting 
enumerating geo tagging and making inventory of all water bodies setting up of jal shakti kendras in all districts intensive effort afforestation and awareness generation now you don't have to remember all these areas of focus this, this is just for the basic understanding that what this ministry will do under this catch the rain campaign okay so guys that is all about this news and now let's come back to the question so which are the three initiatives for which these 36 women have been conferred this award so these are sbm grameen jal jeevan mission and jal shakti abhiyan catch the rain so one two and three option d one two and three is the correct answer moving ahead to question number two special window for affordable and mid-income housing which in short is swami right is it is an investment fund it has provided final approval to about 130 projects with sanctions worth over rupees 12,000 crore. You need to identify incorrect statement about the Swami fund, right? Remember, Swami fund was launched by the Ministry of Finance in the year 2019. And it has the objective to provide priority debt financing, right? It provides priority debt financing for the completion of those projects which are stressed projects, right? Stressed projects, brownfield projects, and rare registered residential projects that fall in the affordable and mid income housing category. Right? So, three categories ke projects ko ye fund karta hai. Number one, the projects which are stressed. Number two, the projects which are brownfield. And number three, which the projects which are in the mid income housing category registered under RERA. RERA is Real, uh, Real Estate Regulation Authority. Okay? Remember, it is India's largest social impact fund specially formed for completing stress and already stalled brownfield projects which kisi na kisi reasons ki wajay se ruk gaye hai. Okay. Now, as I told you, it was launched in 2019 by the Ministry of Finance and it is managed by SBI Cap Ventures Limited. It is a fund. So, there must be a fund manager, right? So, that fund manager in this case is SBI Cap Ventures Limited which is a state bank group's venture. Now, so far it has raised rupees more uh, rupees 15,530 crores to provide debt financing and the target target is to complete over 81,000 homes in the next three years across 30 tier 1 and tier 2 cities. So total number of houses ka target hai pe yaad rakhna, 81,000 houses ka target hai to be completed in the next three years in 30 tier 1 and tier 2 cities under Swami fund. Okay? So that is all and yeah remember this project, this fund considered, considers these type of projects which are the first time developers, established developers with troubled projects, right? Developers with a poor track record of stalled projects, customer complaints, non-performing asset accounts and projects where there are any kind of litigation issues. Now again you don't have to remember all these types of projects, these are not important but yes Again, this is for the understanding that what type of projects the Swami fund caters to. Okay? So that is all and now let's come back to the question. You need to identify incorrect statement. It was launched in 2019. It is sponsored by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs and managed by SBI Cap Ventures Limited. Indeed, it is managed by SBI Cap Ventures Limited but it is not sponsored by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. It is sponsored by, by Ministry of finance so this statement is incorrect which means option b is the correct answer moving ahead to question number three where has the first meeting of g20 anti-corruption working group under india's g20 presidency been held for strengthening law enforcement cooperation for action against corruption and related economic crime so it was the very first anti-corruption working group meeting which was organized by Ministry of Personnel, Public Grievances and Pension. And it took place where? It took place in Gurugram, which is of course in Haryana, right? The co-chair of this meeting was Italy, which is the next year's president, uh, which will hold the next year's presidency of G20. The second meeting of anti-corruption working group will take place in Rishikesh and the third one will take place in Kolkata, right? The objective of meeting is to strengthen the law enforcement cooperation for action against corruption in the G20 member nations, right? To reduce the corruption in the G20 member nation, how we can reduce corruption within the government, within the system, 
in the G20 member nations. All these things were discussed during this meeting, right? Now talking about this group, so remember it was established in the year 2010 uh, for looking after the public and private sector integrity and transparency, bribery, international cooperation to eliminate the corruption, etc. And it works, its work is guided by St. Petersburg strategic framework. So when it was established, there was a framework which was also launched under which this group, uh, through which this group is guided, right? And that framework is known as what? St. Petersburg strategic framework. Okay? So that is all about this news. And now let's come back to the question. So where did it take place? It took place in Gurugram in Haryana. Option A is the correct answer. Moving ahead to question number four. With which social organization, Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment, recently has signed Nasha Mukt Bharat Abhiyan MOU, first spreading the message of the Abhiyan among the youth, women, students, etc. So there is an MOU which has been signed by the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment under its Nasha Mukt Bharat Abhiyan. And this MOU has been signed with Brahm Kumaris, Mount Abu. Brahm Kumaris, it is a social organization located in Mount Abu. With this, the Nasha Mukt Bharat Abhiyan MOU <coughs> has been signed by Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. Okay. <laughs> this MOU, under this MOU, <coughs> the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment votes to spread the message of Nasha Mukt Bharat Abhiyan through the ministries. National Action Plan for Drug Demand Reduction among youth, among students and among the uh, people living in the society. Alright. So basically it is for spreading the message of Nasha Mukt Bharat Abhiyan under National Action Plan for Drug Demand Reduction. Okay. Now what is this National Action Plan for Drug Demand Reduction? Remember it was launched in 2018 for a period up to 2025. So duration you should remember 2018 to 25 with an objective to create awareness about ill effects of substance abuse among the youth. Youth ke andar awareness generate karne ke liye about the against the substance abuse. This uh, national action plan was launched, right? The special focus of this plan is on the higher educational institution because the students studying there are more vulnerable to such substances. University campuses, schools, and reaching out into the community and gardening community involvement. So basically this plan focuses on the community involvement and with the help of that community, they want to spread awareness against the substance abuses among the youth. Okay. Now talking more about it. So remember the financial assistance under this plan is provided to the states and UTs for preventive education and awareness generation, capacity building, skill development, vocational training and livelihood support of ex drug addicts and program for drug demand reduction right currently it is being implemented in 372 districts but when it was launched it was initially launched for 272 districts of the nation okay but remember currently it is being implemented in 372 districts okay so that is all about it and with which organization this MOU has been signed. So that's Brahma Kumaris of Mount Abu. Option D is the correct answer. Moving ahead to question number 5. Question number 5 pe aajate isi baat pe. With which ministry has National Anti-Doping Agency NADA which works under the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports headed by Anurag Singh Thakur. Uh, yeah, autonomous body under the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sport has signed an MOU to strengthen the value-based sport education amongst school educate school children and teachers so to promote value based sports education among school children and teachers this mou has been signed between nada and ncrt nada and ncrt but the question is asking about the ministry so very easy guys ncrt works under the ministry of education and hence the ministry of Ed education will be the answer right talking about talking more about this mou remember the objective of this MOU is to strengthen the value base sports education among all the school teachers and youth. This collaboration with Amplify will enhance NADA's outreach efforts multifold in collaboration with NCRT and it will help create awareness at the grassroots about the ethical sports, right? Thereby removing 
दिस्काउज ऑफ डोपिंग फ्रॉम दिस स्पोर्ट्स ठीक है सो यार दैट इज ऑल एंड द करेक्ट आंसर विल बी ऑप्शन बी द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन बट इन केस द एग्जामिनर आस्क यू द नेम ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन दैट केस दी आंसर वुड बी एनसीआर टी ठीक है जी आगे चलते हैं क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स पे विच ऑफ दी फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट अबाउट युवा उत्सव इंडिया है टू थाउजेंड फोर्टी सेवन लॉन्च रिसेंटली फ्रॉम आई टी रोपड पंजाब इज इन करेक्ट इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट बताना है अबाउट युवा उत्सव इंडिया है टू थाउजेंड एंड फोर्टी सेवन सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इट एंड देन वी विल कम बैक टू द क्वेश्चन सो रिमेंबर इट हैज बिन लॉन्च बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ यूथ अफेयर एंड स्पोर्ट फ्रॉम वेयर फ्रॉम आई टी रोपर पंजाब ऑफकोर्स एंड ड्यूरिंग द इवेंट अ डैश बोर्ड फॉर युवा उत्सव हैज ऑल्सो बीन लॉन्च Now talking about Yuva Utsav. What is this Yuva Utsav, by the way? Remember, the nodal organizing agency is Nehru Yuva Kendra Sangathan, which works under the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sport. Coverage it will cover all the districts across the country, right? All districts cover. It will be done. The theme will be these five. Basically, this campaign, this program will run will run along around these five areas. Goal of developed India to remove any trace of slavery. mindset take pride in our heritage and legacy unity and solidarity and number 5 sense of duty among citizens right and eligibility who can participate in this yuva utsav any youth between the age group of 15 to 29 years is eligible to participate in this yuva utsav and there will there will be you know various competitions like painting declamation sports competition ye sab cheeze iske andar hongi theek hai Talking more about it, so remember, it will be implemented in three at three level, district level, state level, and national level. The winners of district level will participate in the state level Yuva Utsav, and the winners of state level Yuva Utsav will participate in the national level Yuva Utsav. ठीक है जी? So yeah, I think that is all about this news. And now let's come back to the question. You need to identify the incorrect statement. इट वॉज लॉन्च बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन पहला ही स्टेटमेंट इनकरेक्ट हो गया भाई साहब बिना किसी डाउट के बिकॉज इट हैज बिन लॉन्च बाय बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ यूथ अफेयर एंड स्पोर्ट सो दिस इज इनकरेक्ट एंड वैसे भी इसके आगे क्या लिखा है थ्रू इट्स प्रीमियर यूथ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नेहरू युवा केंद्र संगठन इवन इफ यू डोंट नो अबाउट द मिनिस्ट्री द नेहरू युवा केंद्र संगठन इट सेल्फ इज सेंग दैट दिस इनिशियटिव हैज बिन लॉन्च बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ यूथ अफेयर एंड स्पोर्ट वाई बिकॉज एन बाई केस वर्क सेंटर दैट मिनिस्ट्री ओनली ठीक है जी सो दैट इज ऑल गाइज अबाउट दिस क्वेश्चन एंड नाउ लेट्स कम बैक टू क्वेश्चन कम टू क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन यू नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट अबाउट सेफ सिटी प्रोजेक्ट दिस इज समथिंग अगेन विच इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो इट इज द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ होम अफेयर हेडेड बाय मोटा भाई अमित शाह विच हैज लॉन्च द सेफ सिटी प्रोजेक्ट इन बेंगलुरु इन कर्नाटका नाउ दिस सेफ सिटी इज for women safe city project is for women so that's why the objective is to create a safe secure and empowering environment for women in public spaces that is the major objective of safe city project to prevent and curb all forms of crimes against women and girl child in public spaces and also to enable women and girl children to pursue all those opportunities which are available in the environment without any without facing any discrimination right so that is the objective of safe city project the nodal ministry is ministry of home affairs as i already told you but remember the fund for this project uh, is being taken from nirbhaya fund right it is being implemented in eight cities which are delhi mumbai kolkata chennai bangalore hyderabad ahmedabad and lucknow and yes it is important the names are important funding ki baat kare the cost is shared between central government and state government in the ratio of 60 40 except in the case of delhi because delhi is a ut so for delhi entire funding is given by the central government only all right now what are the projects involved under safe city projects so number one the ministry will identify the hot spots of crimes against women right after that deployment of various components including infrastructure technology adoption so that we can reduce the crime against women and capacity building in community through awareness program which is something i believe is very very important because jab tak hum khud aware nahi honge police kitna hi hame bacha legi bhai hame khud ko aware hona padega right so that is all about safe city and now let's come back to the question 
<coughs> Where it is? Yeah. So, can incorrect state but identify karna. It is being implemented by Ministry of Women and Child Development. No, it is being implemented by Ministry of Home Affairs. It is being implemented <coughs> in all cities across the country. Is it so? Not in all the cities. Eight cities may implement ho raha. Ye bhi incorrect ho gaya. Under it, cost of the project is shared between center and central government and concerned states in 60-40. Yeh thik hai. Thik hai. Toh, one and two is the correct answer. One and two hai nis mein. One and two is not there. So, let's make it two. Let's make it two option. Nahin, incorrect bata na hai. Yes, incorrect we need to identify. This is incorrect. This is incorrect. Option B, let's say, is one and two. So, that will be the correct answer. Don't worry, I'll make the changes in the PDF. Thik hai? Question number 8. So, question number, from question number 8, the questions are in short, which do not need much explanation. But before that, if you want to have the PDF, you can join the Telegram channel. This Telegram channel, the link is provided in the description. Go to the description. Question number 8. Where has Indian Seed Congress been organized by the National Seed Association of India? Now, this, these such type of questions, guys, I believe, and you must not go into the details of such uh, congress, right? Because generally, it's not a question. If it comes, it will organization, location, or event. In three things, it will come, right? So, National Seed, Indian Seed Congress was organized by National Seed Association of India in New Delhi. Option B is the correct answer. Question number nine. So, I have taken 15 questions today, and the rest of the news, which were from the 3rd to 5th of March, don't worry, I will take all those news in the upcoming sessions. You guys just don't worry. Which ministry has organized a dhara owed to Indian knowledge systems under the ages of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav? So the ministry in question is Ministry of Culture headed by G. Kishan Reddy. Option A is the correct answer. Next question, very important under cochlear implant scheme. Children with hearing disability up to the age of 0 to how many years are operated free of cost? for cochlear hearing device implant surgery with the ceiling of how much amount per unit of the device. So, you need to fill these two uh, gaps. So, disability up to the age of 5 years and the maximum amount per unit of the device is 6 lakhs. Right? So, what should be the correct answer? 5 years, 6 lakhs. Option E will be the correct answer. Question number 11, which PSU has been honored with CBIP award 2022 for outstanding contribution in power generation attributed to its Vidyanshal super thermal power station. So, which PSU is this? It is NTPC limited. Once again, option E is the correct answer. Question number 12, with which institute has Ministry of Rural Development headed by Giriraj Singh extended its MOU? for providing design support for the products made by SHGs of day NRLM. This is an important question. And the correct answer to this question is NIFT, which is National Institute of Fashion Technology. Option A is the correct answer. 13. For which state has the Ministry of Port Shipping and Waterways recently sanctioned seven floating jetties under Sagar Mala program for which the third phase is going on? to enhance tourism, create employment and generate wealth in a ripple effect across industry. So, remember the state in question is Karnataka and that's why option D is the correct answer. 14. Under Pradhan Mantri PVTG mission, this was announced in Union Budget 23-24. The detailed guidelines are yet to be launched. So, thoda baut jahan jahan PIB mein aajata hai, wo hum le lenge. So, Pradhan Mantri PVTG, PVTG stands for what? Particularly Vulnerable Tribal Groups. For the welfare of particularly vulnerable tribal groups was announced in Budget 23-24 under this mission. Fund of DASH will be allocated for a duration of DASH. So, fund of 15,000 crore will be allocated for a period of 3 years and that is why option C is the correct answer to this question. And guys, the last question for today, Ministry of Finance has notified SGB 2022-23 series 4 for subscription with issue price of this much per gram. Ye aapko yaad rakhne ki zarud nahi hai, don't worry. Issue prices yaad rakhne ki zarud nahi hai, not at all. How much discount will be given per gram from the issue price to those investors who apply online? So for applying online, a discount of Rs. 50 
is given under SGB. <coughs> sorry, under SGB scheme being implemented by Ministry of Finance through RBI. All right, guys. So that is all for today, and I hope all the questions and their explanations are clear. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. Take care. And yes, I will see you tomorrow. The next session will be on the scheduled time, Friday at 8 a.m. ठीक है? तो मिलते हैं फिर अगली क्लास में. Goodbye. Take care and God bless.